us counting down was in sync, so I think it's fine. Was it? I don't. Yeah. Okay. As long as it's synced from my end, which I think would make. Oh, my I don't ass know. hurts. Okay. Because my my end's more important than your end. No, I said my ass hurts. Oh. What are you talking? About? I, we're both talking about our ends, but oh, just different said, ends. Oh, it's oh, oh, very clever. Hi, Stephen. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. It's been a while. Well, for them. Not for us. These are the only times we talk is during these videos. <laughs> Even when we do collabs in the middle of the year, we don't talk. Yeah, we don't talk. We just, like, <laughs> leave pieces of music on each other's doorstep. <laughs> USBs that have, like, the MIDI notes on it. You open your window, just... <laughs> <laughs> and then you look down and we're standing there, like, wearing a hood over our eyes. And then just, like, hold a finger to our mouth <laughs> and slowly creep away. It's the spooky season. The thing about Halloween music is... You, <laughs> Tell us. How many times every year do you hear Ghostbuster... <laughs> stop laughing. How many times have you heard on the radio around Halloween the Ghostbusters theme? Monster, the time. Monster Mash. Thriller oh. by Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, that, that one. The point is, it's all gotten so stale. Like a bread. The Halloween spirit has been dwindling, especially this year, given the... I think we can fix Halloween music by putting the scary back in the music. So we need to mm -hmm. de take a deep dive and find people's deepest fears. We're swimming. Get your trunks on. Let's dive right in. <laughs> Sparkle effect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? We're writing a song, the scariest song of all time. What do you fear the most? Well, what if I don't fear anything? Um... Maybe that is the fear. The fear of not fearing anything. <laughs> means you should fear something. And that means you're a psycho. Oh, what's my biggest fear? Yeah. Um, well, the concept of eternity, and yet at the same time, the duality of nothingness. So like oblivion, like what happens after you die? Is there an afterlife? If there's an afterlife, is it eternal? What does that mean that at some point we all learn everything and if so what's the point of an afterlife and if there's nothing then what's the point of the life that we're currently living you know everything i'm doing is just folly and if the universe i have uh, had a, a fear of clowns since i was since i was really small and i have a fear right now to to having a fire in my house and losing all, all of my collection that I, I have been really working hard on since i was little so maybe uh, I could combine those fears and tell you that really creepy clown appearing in the middle of the night, not to kill me, but to steal my, my collection would be like a, a, a horrible nightmare. Robber clown, got it. I have a feeling you're just trying to figure out our greatest fear so you could use it against yeah, us. Yeah, hold on a minute. This isn't for a video at all. You're just trying to exploit our weakness. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Okay, I know what fear I want to say, but I don't know how to, like, articulate it. It's a very specific fear. Pretty much anything that's slow and linear, in, in a, a predictable way of movement, that if you don't move out of the way fast enough, will crush you. Swamps? You know, like, those levels in Mario, where, like, I, it's, it's kind of weird to describe unless you know what I'm talking about, where, like, the top of the level shifts up and down, or, like, a... Yes! I hate those. I despise those. I used to be scared of clowns. It was at an amusement park somewhere uh, in Jersey in Wildwood, and there was a clown like doing performances on the boardwalk. Performances. He was doing balloon animals and shit, whatever a clown does, and then... He was honking his nose at you. <laughs> my mom forced me to take a picture with him. I was trying to distance myself from him. Like, my mom told me to get closer. I'm like, uh-oh. That is abuse. And yeah, I think that's straight that's up abuse. abuse. I'm like, mom, what? I'm, I'm, calling, I'm calling CSP right now. Is this just you? Pretty, pretty <laughs> much. One of my fears as a young child was like, oh, so Mario, not actually Mario himself, but you know Mario, right? I'm uh, familiar. Uh, especially, specifically Mario 64, and then the new Super Mario games. There's like this giant cheap cheap. It's like called like a cheap chomp or, or whatever, and it was purple. It's like how its jaw just like unhinged, and then it made this vacuum sound that like sounded like nails on chalkboard. That, that no! thing. That okay, terrified me. I, I had nightmares about that. <laughs> Why does it look like a master ball with wings and a giant <laughs> lip? <laughs> it does. I 
am terrified of the thought of, like, losing use of, like, a limb. Like, my arm is numb for some reason. Like, like I, I just can't feel my arm. I get super panicked. My main fear in life are, is spikes. Spiky things. Especially small spiky things, like syringes and stuff like that. That's why I'm terrified to be near my mom most of the time, because she's a doctor <laughs> and a surgeon. So you hate needles. You, you know what I'm gonna get you for oh, your oh, birthday, okay. so, Ernius? So, Oh, what, what's that like? I'm gonna get you a pet porcupine. How do you feel when you look light laser in the face when you see it? Well, like needles are a fear, but like just like sharp objects in general are kind of scary. Dude, my what about mind. carrots? They're pretty sharp. Carrot. Dude, you could you could stab someone with a carrot. It's been done. Has it? I low key had the weirdest fears when I was younger. There was like this cranky old man that lived across the street from me when I was still living in New York. I was playing basketball with my friends, and uh, the basketball actually landed in front of his yard. <laughs> So this monster I'm house. Sorry, I was balling too it's hard. not monster house. I swear, no. if this is monster house. <laughs> is this the monster house? What? It's not monster house. So we heard the basketball land. As soon as I was about to run and get it, he he literally ran out and started screaming at us because he's like, that ball could have hit my window. Like I was once riding my bike down the street and the title font monster house came on the screen. <laughs> Oh god, I just scared him away. Dude, <laughs> just... god damn it. Let's do this. I have an idea, Evan. What is your idea, Steve? Well, I was thinking we could just absolutely give her a little bit you of You were stinking. A... <laughs> Shut up. I like this vibe. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Okay, so I've done some speaking with other people. Oh, yes. There was two answers of clowns. What the fuck is wrong with people? I've never been scared of clowns. One of those fears was specifically a clown who comes in and steals all your prized possessions. Who I, said I, this? <laughs> hold on now, hold on. My brain is starting to work. Hold on. In the background. <laughs> So we can keep I'm the so clown thing that. going for all the f***ing pussies, and then <laughs> we can, the stealing thing. So we can use the clown thing as like, okay, so like life, right? Because this makes sense because this is what the world is right now. Life is like a f***ing circus, circus, and there are just clowns everywhere, and they're stealing your life force, your soul, your hope, your your dignity, your right, emotions, Steven, right, your joy Steven, that right. you never Calm thought down. you could Calm lose, down. but you have. Calm down. I, Calm what down. I'm trying Steven, to say, I'm what I'm trying to f***ing say to you and all the people out here is vote. No, I'm kidding. Uh, well, no, I'm actually not kidding. Please vote. Shari got just very existential and talked oh. about how little we matter in the universe. Okay. We got Failboat who said his fear, that things that move in one direction very slowly on a set path, but will crush you if you don't move. The boat is sailed. Now, sh that don't leave that in. And then he started talking about how much he hates cheap chomps from the Mario games. What the f is a cheap chomp? Oh, God. I don't remember those. But they like come after you and go <laughs> the last one i have written down is loss of a limb this is easy you just do uh like a piano solo where you only are allowed to play with one hand okay or maybe you lose both of your hands so you have to play a piano solo with your face okay or with your foot okay <laughs> <laughs> it's just the same thing <laughs> i had a fear of robbers when i was younger i have a fear of robbers right now all the time <laughs> <laughs> my like my two biggest fears when I was a kid were bears and robbers. I would ask my mother in the middle of the night to go downstairs and check and make sure there's no one or nothing in the house that could That's harm cute. me. And she'd be like, oh, "Fine." <laughs> That's what being a good parent's all about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lyrics. Here we go. Spit them out, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Oh yeah. You ever fart? You ever fart, and it sounds like a question. Like, should we start with like the premise of this video? Was like, there's nothing scary about the current state of Halloween, and then I need something that will lead to the removal of my peen. That's the rhyme. The removal of my peen. That's supposed to mean fall. It falls off from oh, fright. The limbs. That's so gross. That's, <laughs> you don't got a peen limb? We need to up the ante of the cliche shit we've seen. Let's see. Your Where? mom and dad aren't scary anymore. 
What? Yeah, fucking write it down. Your mom and dad aren't scary anymore. So don't go trick or treating at your door. Or uh, yeah, something like that. We don't have the scary stuff. We don't have the fun. This might not be like good kind of bad. This is just gonna be the so bad it's bad kind of. It's closing in on never coming back again. Yo, hold on. <laughs> I love the, yo, hold on. I'm entering the matrix. I'm ascending. <laughs> oh, closing in. Oh, I see what you're doing, dude. Do you remember the lyric from our Christmas song? You don't know why you feel so down. Could it be because your life is a clown? Holy sh! Or is this a sequel? <laughs> We've got a sequel on our hands, dude. Oh f Oh. You want to make out? <laughs> yeah. What if I was just like clowns? <laughs> Bye. You're not gonna scream. You can't, you're not gonna scream. That defeats the purpose of fucking Halloween. No, what are the clowns doing that make him so scary? They're killing us. No, but like, <laughs> look, this is our. Ch <laughs> so they'd be taking your stuff and your wife and your car. Oh my god. Clowns! They'd be fucking <laughs> up wherever they are. <laughs> ooh, ooh, clowns! <laughs> <laughs> they tore it off. Bye. This bear. Oh, well, maybe... <laughs> <laughs> oh darn. I could be like trapped in the wall and I can't get out. Give me a chance to scream and shout. Oh, and then you come in. <laughs> Tsunamis, earthquakes. What's the fish called? Cheap chomp. Oh, come on. That's such a lame name. I thought his name was Big Bertha. That's a different, a different fish. Not just to say Big Bertha, but I wrote Big Bertha. Throw in, like, a jab at how bad at writing we are. Because that, like, that's okay, going to be, like, the scariest thing. Okay, so you could be, like, like, sitting on the toilet with no toilet paper. We suck at writing. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for more clouds. <laughs> yes! Oh. All right, we did it. We have successfully cooked another meal in the kitchen. We're in the spooky kitchen. We're in the kitchen possessed by a ghost. <laughs> Jamaican ghost. <laughs> Could be a Milwaukee ghost. Thank thanks, guys. You know what? Times wait, have been on. tough. I got you. Hold thanks on. Wait, 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 wait. You know what, guys? Times have been really tough lately, but you know, we really oh, I'm forgetting. We really appreciate. Shut up. I'm having a talk. We really appreciate you tuning in to the Noteblock and Steven show where we ruin music and create our own. And I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out where this is going. <laughs> trying this to is getting more tested. Okay, right okay, okay, okay. So so just enjoy the enjoy the video. It's very good. Here comes the music. We're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Halloween 2020, everybody. I'm trapped in the wall and 
I just can't get out Give me a chance to scream and to shout I wanna move my arms, but they just aren't there Cause they've been torn off by a big spooky bird Tsunami, earthquakes, big jungle with a chomp Team pregnancy, milkshakes, and the face of Guam Sitting on the toilet with no more toilet paper We really suck at writing, but you better like You better comment, you better subscribe And hit the bell for more your stuff and your wife and your car They be fucking up shit wherever they are I'm not kidding about your wife There's no more time for strife Look how he's got a knife The clowns are fucking coming So run for your life but What is what life? Is life? What, what is our purpose here? here? If we are nothing but a speck in the grand, the grand scheme, scheme of the universe, universe. Why, do why do we aspire, we aspire to, grow? to grow? To create. To teach. Why do we aspire to feed the small snippet of time we get on this earth to perpetuating this pointless, fruitless sight of nothingness? Could it be my life? Is a clown?